My name is Alex Gintas, and I am both delighted and honored to have my article on Luis Moses Gomez included in the upcoming Fall 2022 New York Archives magazine. My research covers the origins of Gomez in Spain to his trials and journey to New York where he became immersed in the 18th century market revolution. After his passing in 1740, his Hudson Valley property, known best today as the Gomez Mill House, has become an extraordinary lens through which three centuries of transformation can be viewed. In writing this article, I owe special thanks to two repositories that provided me with a great deal of resources. The first of these is the Gomez Foundation for Mill House and their recent site director, Richie Rosencrantz. Not only did the foundation provide me with several primary sources, including Gomez's denization letter from Queen Anne, and a 1736 newspaper advertisement revealing the presence of enslaved persons on his property, but they also encouraged me to paint Gomez's story with a far larger brush by comparing these primary sources with, at times, exaggerated secondary sources. The latter of these came from my personal library, as well as the local history department of the Newburgh Free Library, which offers a great deal of material on Gomez. My first interaction with the New York Archives magazine occurred five years ago when, as a high school senior, I lectured before a conference for the Association of Public Historians of New York State in Poughkeepsie. Since then, I have been fascinated by the depth and breadth of topics covered in each edition. In addition to the topics covered, the actual magazine is put together in a manner that is inviting. From the fonts and graphics to the ways in which information is displayed in a manner that is approachable and enjoyable, this publication is an excellent way to become acquainted with our state's rich history.